It was uh, 2008 I enlisted. I enlisted in something called the 18 X-ray program, which is a special forces training uh, program for people off the streets. Generally, you have to be two, three years in the military to get a chance to go to the special forces selection course. I served in the Army, the 82nd Airborne Division, for four and a half years, and I did a tour to Baghdad, Iraq in 2009. The uh, U.S. Navy from 2004 to 2010. I uh, spent the first year and a half standard for a nuke. Uh, in power school and prototype training, and then I served on the USS Enterprise, now decommissioned. So I was deployed once in uh, 2009, um, 2008 to 2009 for 11 months in Baghdad, and then the second time I was deployed pretty much all of 2011 for the withdrawal. So I did that in 2008, ended up making it all the way through. Um, went through 2014. Uh, first two years were training, for Special Forces, which thankfully I made it all the way through, and then the next four were active duty deployments to Afghanistan, Korea, India, and the Philippines, amongst other places. The biggest reason why I chose to go here over anything else was because I knew the education department was good. I knew that it had a good name for it, and like you were gonna you were gonna be challenged, but you were gonna come out on top and really be worth it. So that was a major decision coming here. I, uh, I didn't really know how to use my GI benefits and then uh, I had, and a lot of the schools that I applied with didn't really go out of the way to reach out and help me out and uh, one person that did was Therese and I remember her really kind of guided me through the GI, the GI Bill and the VA. When I submitted an application two weeks before classes started they got me in. <laughs> yeah. And Therese Lux has been awesome to work with as far as uh, getting GI Bill stuff. You know leaving the military you're, you're leaving a lot of the High, like high quality, some of the best people you ever meet. And I've always said you don't trade down. So if you're gonna get out and go into an education program, why leave an elite fighting force to go for a middling or low, low end school? Why don't you stick with, you're good, stick with good. You know, you're great, stick with great. So I feel like education really is really necessary and it's the only way that I think you can be successful now. The, probably the best decision you'll make, especially for the long run, financially, you know, getting back to the real world and getting used to what the real world actually does, not what military life is all about. I think it's the best way to transition. And it's by far been probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. I had a great time uh, so far and it's coming to an end, but um, a lot of the professors I had like a little bit more in common, strangely, just because of the military just makes you grow up a lot faster. So it's like we had a little more common ground and all the students that I talked to and some of my friends that I made, like they were just really interested in learning about it. I think going back to college was the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, but I'm glad I did it here just because it, it's gonna make it worthwhile. The struggle and all that, I really know at the end it's gonna be worth it, so. I like this place, I like I like North Central and uh, I wish that, you know, maybe down the line sometime. I'd be, I'd, I'd, like, I'd love to work here, I love the place here. I work here now, but. I'd love to work here and actually like be part of you know something bigger. I mean, just the fact that a school like this, uh, with its price attached to it and its prestige, uh, will make up the difference with the Yellow Ribbon Program was enough for me to be far. You know, it's a big thing to front that much money just to help a veteran get a good education. So that was that was big for me.